Okay, you guys, on next video, Klein Tradesman's Pro 8-inch tool tote. You'll see description in the video about the bag, how I use it, uh, load out, pack out, whatever you like to call it. A lot of tools I use and what I favor. Also, some small general descriptions, otherwise this video would be five times longer. Let's try to keep it a little shorter. Uh, the bag is great. I really, really like it. It's five pounds by itself, so that adds to my tool capacity. I mean, I probably got 10, 11 pounds worth of tools, and that brings it right up uh, to a degree I didn't expect. But I need the space. It does come with a really nice strap that you can use to put on your shoulders so they understand that this bag is going to be a little heavier than most people are used to. A lot of descriptions I give or some of the generalized descriptions I give about the tools is how I use it on a daily basis. They're really great all the ones in here that I use for my personal trade for the past 28 years straight and a decade of other mechanical experience and then some. <laughs> um, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's a lot of very good information, and I have a feeling I'm going to surprise you a few times. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. This is a Klein Tools Tradesman's Pro Tool Tote 20 Pockets 8 inch. It's a little wider than 8 inches for my money. I would say it's close to 9 inches, but that's the description they make. Okay? got some real heft to it uh, looks like she'll last so in a lifetime won't fall apart very easy only had it less than a year maybe 10 months 11 months or so comes with a he very heavy duty strap I don't have with me it's in the car right now very heavy duty D rings right here nice rivets all around the place uh, nothing that's gonna really fall apart too bad Organizing the pockets, I mean, my other one I had, the Husky, when I was filling it up, I think it was in August last year, 2021, I was kind of saying, wow, it's getting full fast. <laughs> this one is not quite full, and I'm not sure how much I want to fill it up, because the bag and the tools already got sufficient weight to it. Uh, I'm not an electrician by trade, HVAC specialist at all, but basically I do... A bunch of trades at the same time, plumbing, electrical, HVAC, uh, other things. So this is the bag I mainly grab when I have an issue. In the front you should see a Husky, probably six-way screwdriver, nothing fancy, about seven bucks. I like the idea that it's translucent. Nobody really has one like this, that I, everybody else that I see, so I like that. Very simple, very easy in function, very affordable. Milwaukee $70 light, head gets hot on here, has different molds, different luminances, whether it be spot or uh, a little wider focus on there, very, very nice, very high water resistance, I believe you can drop this about three feet and not break it, this must be the second one I bought at least, because I know I lost one of these before, and I just, they too convenient with the magnetic uh, base to leave somewhere and just keep walking, alright, so bit expensive but worth the money for me for, for my needs some people use the one that goes in the head and I don't see anything wrong with that two knippics pliers one has a straight nose on it and that's different for different situations you can get in tight situations and this one I'm not sure how long it came out maybe a couple years ago maybe this one's been out for a while this uh, pump pliers here I like the adjustment here it doesn't have a groove, you go in and out, you press the button and you can adjust the pliers. I'm doing this reverse, a little bit easier. Okay, these are very, very good. I really like these. They got ones also that angle a little bit different. They got all kinds going on. Knippix is one of my favorite tools companies. So is Klein. I don't necessarily favor one above the other. I favor one for a particular tool. Okay, now we got that out of the way. <laughs> Let's keep going around. It's summertime, it's hot out here. That's what I use. Repel. It's uh, eucalyptus oil. 
the DEET is said to be a little bit better, but I don't like the chemicals. I prefer this said to have six hours uh, time usage before you have to reapply. But if you're perspiring a lot, you're wiping yourself, whatever, four hours from what I see what's going on. So before lunchtime, after lunchtime, especially if you're in the back. A lot of people that do HVAC actually use long pants for that reason. They don't have to deal with this. I'm not there all the time, but it's nice to grab it real quick. These, I got these off of eBay, these uh, six mil little bags. Got a bunch of them, 25 for a few dollars. Don't remember how much, maybe 10 bucks or so. They they work in handy. I can't find small pouches to put in different little places. Um, like, you know, small planos or something like that. But these work good, I like them. Different uh, heads here for different situations, okay? Also got a 5 16 quarter inch by DeWalt was reversible uh, head socket on a, on a quarter inch drive for my impact which comes on and off so that's nice. Okay, a couple of uh, Schrader valve, the inside of the Schrader valve for the HVAC. If I have to change them, they just happen to be on board. Several fuses for where the computer board is at, a control board is at. They go uh, 3 amp, 5 amp. Nothing else in that pouch for now. Like I said, I'm trying to keep it light. I'm not trying to make it heavy. It's got my name, Victor One. That's from eBay. A long time ago, nobody had that name. <laughs> At the time I was thinking, all right, you're going to find some interesting stuff here as we go along. I, I don't apologize for this video being long. This is a, a 4 R, R410A screwdriver for the heads that go on there. They kind of pinkish, might be anodized, and this tool actually takes the head off and locks it back in place. Okay, it says N-O-V-E-N-T R410 on it, doesn't have the A on there. Okay. This is an escutcheon cover for plumbing. I have a little piece of uh, hard rubber, some silicone on one side. The other side I have a magnet. It is not a joke. <laughs> it, it lifts up a lot, holds a lot, and what happens is I'll stick it onto a base on HVAC furnace, whatever it is, exterior condensate, uh, interior furnace, ductwork, a door that's blocking. If it has any type of metal on the hinge, snap it on there, put all my screws on there. I don't lose any whatever bits, whatever they're there. I'm good to go. It's actually extremely thin, extremely light, and does the job extremely well. Neodymium from eBay. Magnet on there. Little silicone. Great uh, tool, does the job. Extra bag. And let's show what else is in there. Probably a busted fuse. <laughs> And oh, a couple more fuses. So they're probably not all busted. They just happen to be loose in there. Okay. That's no. Well, we're not even finished with the exterior. Oh my goodness. Uh, pick. Got an idea to show you guys in the video on this one. Did a video on this. Klein. Tools. NCVT 3P. Tester has a flashlight on it. Uh, works extremely well. It does also from 12 volt to 1000 volt or 70 to 1000 volt AC. So you can go different ranges whether you're using a low voltage transformer for intercom or for the thermostat going to the contactor outside, things like that. So it works extremely. Actually, yeah, that would be AC. That's correct. This works well. I really like this. Don't like to lend this out, it doesn't come back. <laughs> uh, part of a kit I bought, I put that in the link and the link to that video. IR07 Climb Tools. Extremely handy for HVAC when the tenant says I'm not getting cold air, client, whatever it is, you can show them. I had to recently test one tenant and show them they're getting 62 degrees coming out of the ductwork. Why is my place warm? Let me see. You got sunlight covered in here, you got all the doors upstairs, you're not getting the circulation, you're cooking right now, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, it's 95 degrees outside, and you got a dry going. 
You think they'll pay attention to you after a while, but not all the time they do. Tecton. Five sixteenths. Quarter inch getting in really, really tight places. This didn't come with it. This came off of my Husky bag. They had a different style here and it didn't work as good as this. So someone suggested me take it off there and put it on here. I did. It worked really, really good. I don't have a tape measure here because it would kind of interfere with whatever else I got here. Got a video on this quick set tool to five pin cylinders, pop them out, pop them in, possibly work on six. A few other different markers here from Milwaukee for different materials. I don't have a white or silver one. I got to get one of those. Definitely a Sharpie, an extra pan, uh, backup, HVAC thermostat, and now we start getting into the inside of the bag. You got a uh, magnetizer, demagnetizer here by a client on there. There's so many things you can do here. It's a little hard to take a look inside, so we'll just start digging out. Always a pair of gloves, always have a pair of backups when I work on electrical. Since I'm not an electrician, I want to be careful, always a pair of gloves. This one is from Europe. You can buy it here in the States on eBay. And I had to get a ship from Europe, but we call electrician's hammer, say 10 ounce AHH. I'm not sure if that's the model number. I uh, use it for light duty. This is not for ripping out floors, stuff like that. They even stated on the site, but it works really good. And again, I'm trying to save weight, so that's what you see going on here. Okay, I'm gonna have to put a lot of links in here. <laughs> Got a video on this one that works. Uh, this is the XL, I believe, and it works really good. They have another one which is basically the same but it has more bits to it. So it's the same thing. 4 volts works really really good for what it is. At first the battery would not take a full charge and I thought it was just, that's just the way the battery is. But uh, it actually does last long enough. Uh, almost a full day's work without a charge on there working on HVAC units. Okay. And we always have backups because we never know what's going on here. Just got these, got a video on this. Oh, like I said, we're going to have to put a lot of links on this video. This is ridiculous. Uh, work really good. Up to number two, aluminum. You'll see me cutting in that video with this 100 amp cable, aluminum cable, wire. Uh, my favorites. Uh, I never used needle nose until one of the guys who works here started. And he always seemed to pull these out a lot. And I saw a 6 inch and an 8 inch, I went straight for the 8 inch. Do not get a 6 inch, get 8 inch. If you have the space for it, 6 inch works fine, 8 inch works better. These are 1000 volt AC, 1500 volt DC rated. So I can de energize a capacitor with these without having issues putting on the leads, the connections, whatever, taking them off. One of my favorites. Another one of my favorites, odd name, you know, over here in the States, the U.S., we call them alignment supplies. This, I believe, might be a 10-inch, but it works like bigger because of the way they put the connections here. You get more torque on it. Same voltage rating. Inspection mirror, of course. <laughs> I just had a comfort lighting, a hot water tank, even though I'm not a call. Had a light for somebody else. Uh, they had a deal with emergency with their wife, and they're back on property now. But I took care of it for them. We have to work together. It's just limited manpower. We got Klein 2 C320. Have not put a video up on this yet. I'm still using it. A uh, lot to learn here. I got the magnetic, I believe, separate. The magnetic holder didn't come with it. Okay, but uh, very, very happy with this. Test campanus, if that's the right word for capacitors. Um, so it's really, really nice being included. So this is my previous one. This is a glass cutter uh, on Amazon. Not necessarily very cheap, but they will tend to work decently. Okay, just happens to be in there, so it doesn't fool around. One of my previous video, actually my previous video, is on these two cutters. <laughs> I gotta find a way to get these to stay close, so I can get them in and out of the bag a little bit easier. I have an idea, I haven't put that video up yet. I'll put the link to that video in there also below. Another one. This was electrical rate. Very nice. 
little fly ball from Stanley, 10 inch. Uh, really, really nice. I really like this. I also like the width for trim, so it's less chance you're cracking stuff and getting in there a little bit tighter. Nice for nails here. You got a real good bite and not too large and definitely not too heavy. Getting a titanium one that you're going to chip later on and can't pay that much money for it. Not sure about that. Don't know why, but since I do a little plumbing, a little mega tape, got a video on that too. It could be a lot of links on this. Stubby, uh, tight spots. You guys saw the tecton here. Okay. Uh, my client, of course, very, very good. 5 16 quarter inch. At least two different bits, probably two different sizes each one. It is interesting too. I believe I bought this separately. Did not come with their kit. Oh, that looks like a serial number. I'm not sure what the model number of this is. Is it 69409? This is test amperage. So you can plug this into an outlet. You can plug your device, your circular saw, your heat gun, whatever it is on the other side. And you can actually test the amperage. Just pulling, see if you're pulling too much. A hair dryer would be a probably perfect example for this. And they tend to grow breakers because they tend to be higher rated than 15 amps on there. And not always you want to go to the exact 15 amps and say, well, there's something wrong with the breaker. Usually about 80% is uh, what you're safe with. Uh, going more than that, if it's an older one, not always rated for that. A few extra bits in there. A little thing here to carry my Dremel tool blades. Okay, other small things in there. That seems to be one side. That's pretty good there. Number two, by Klein. Uh, this guy's a long guy, possibly eight inches. Looks like it might say seven on there. Seven or eight inches, very, very nice. 6037, 603 7 INS. Uh, definitely electrical rated, a little tapered in the front. The German tools would, wouldn't necessarily have this step like this, they would be a little more rounded, tapered, uh, almost conical, something like that. So you would see that. They're slightly different. They didn't tend to cost money. Clients have a serious legendary reputation. Uh, definitely no issues here whatsoever. Okay? Got a couple of Weehaws here. A uh, couple missing here. This is what I use my primary thermostat for the wires and stuff. It's very, very nice. Nice and small. A small Phillips, you never know. Regular size Phillips, number two. Shorter handle, I don't always need the big one. I pull that out when I need a little more torque. While I'm going inside a service panel where things might be deeper, I'll have this on one on me. Tend to use it. This one is a wearer. W E R A, wearer. Uh, definitely insulated. And there goes that taperedness I was trying to explain there. It's not a step right here, it's tapered down. You'll see that. Um, most of them have grooves here when they got on the table, they don't roll around. Very, very comfortable to use. Also, easy for me to spot and say, okay, that is my number two straight edge, okay? Okay, Knipix, I'm not even sure you guys can get this one anymore. <laughs> Let's go rate it. Said to be number two, more like a 2.3 or something like that. Had to actually slightly shave the head and doesn't always fit on every number two. This one does. And this one also has little grooves on there. So when it came new, which is still semi new, it fits small screws like for uh, a socket cover and the screws tend to fit on there without falling off very easily. I like that a lot. That's something I never expected. Uh, it's definitely for more reach, that's what it's for, okay? The electrical screwdrivers, people think they take a regular screwdriver, they put electrical tape on there. <laughs> I'm guilty of that. It doesn't make it electrical rated. Might make it a little sa safer, but the metal, the way they put the metal algae, whatever what the word, proper terminology would be, is different from regular screwdrivers, okay? Twin four snips. I don't know why I'm cutting. They're rusted. Of course, they need to be oiled. <laughs> I never oiled them. I just keep using them. Oh god. Uh, I have a video on this guy here. GFCI, AFCI, arc fault circuit interrupter, ground fault circuit interrupter. It trips the right breaker, so you don't have to go nuts and 
reset everything in the house. They almost done here. Sorry guys for the long video. Magnetic pickup. Insulation strippers by Knipix. Uh, people say, why do you have that small channel like it? What's up with the painter's tape on there? Uh, vice grip, I'm sorry. Vice grip style made by Milwaukee. This is adjustable here. It is metal, it's not plastic. I thought it was plastic on here, it's not. I like that. Uh, people say that the grips come off on here. I haven't used it that much. I threw the suckers back on with a little silicone epoxy if I have to. That is not a big deal if they come off on me. Extremely well made, looks like they will last me a lifetime. No issues except for the spring. I might trash the spring one day and have to put it on there. I use this as a secret water supply shut off for supply lines. Had to put that link in there also. Okay, 20 pocket. Great handle on here, like a roll of nickels. Not quite a roll of quarters, not quite a roll of dimes. Very, very nice. Before I make the video too long, I think you guys got it out. Got everything. This is different than come with it, added that arm. I'm sure you guys can find something like this or even make something like this for yourself if you like to. Not much else to say on the bag for now. I know I'm gonna enjoy it and I was really uh, packing out the other one where it wasn't enough. The only other things I would like to add before I leave the video is if I get any big, I'm gonna need wheels on here. It's getting uh, weight over 15 pounds maybe. After that, using a strap or putting a set of wheels on it, or get a small car or something like that. I'm actually thinking about that. Base is uh, drop dead solid. Zero issues on there, okay? Positive you guys will enjoy the bag. You guys see my pack out, load out of what I use every day, all day long. <laughs> just for this part of my job. This doesn't include plumbing and other things in my job, but just for this part. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Any questions, just ask. I'd like to see your video on your loadout pack out.